Hello, my name is Cole Grillo, and I've been tasked with listening to several podcasts from the series, How I Built This. This podcast highlights different entrepreneurs and how they created the businesses they own. The first of these businesses is Famous Dave's, a restaurant chain founded by Dave Anderson. Famous Dave's does $95.2 million in, in revenue yearly and was founded in Hayward, Wisconsin. Dave had the idea to start the business thanks to his lifelong passion for barbecue and the recipes he had been perfecting for over 20 years. The second of these businesses was Health Aid Kombucha, founded by Dana Trout. Health Aid does $150 million yearly in revenue and was founded originally to help battle hair loss. Dana's skills bring great tasty kombucha quickly, quickly became more lucrative than fighting hair loss, leading to Health Aid becoming strictly a kombucha company. Finally, the founder of Lush Cosmetics, Mark Constantine, was invited onto the show. Lush does $557 million in sales yearly and was founded by Mark after he developed a passion for changing people's appearances while working in the theater. Lush is renowned for its values as a company, refusing to do product testing on animals and donating proceeds to such causes. Each of these company owners were extremely driven in the creation of their businesses. While all three embodied this trait, none were nearly as driven as Dave Anderson of Famous Dave's Barbecue. When Dave was just getting a start selling flowers to different flower shops, he would help these shops cut flowers, clean up the shop, and do anything to help out these business owners just to show he was the best flower salesman around. While this business may have ended unsuccessfully, Dave refused to give up, becoming an extremely successful founder of casinos. When he had enough of this, Dave still had the drive to go on and found yet another business in Famous Dave's. While the other business owners certainly had their own problems, none experienced as much adversity and overcame as much. As a poor man born to two Native Americans, he was forced to overcome being a minority and helped build up the Native American reservation he worked for into a sustainable business benefiting all those who lived there. Furthermore, Dave was driven to go back to school after the success and received a degree in business from Harvard, which helped him become an expert in the field of business. Finally, after founding all these businesses and helping all these people, Dave was still driven to help Indian American people. He served as the Assistant Secretary of the Interior for Indian Affairs in the George W. Bush administration, helping out these people even more. From listening to these podcasts, I've been lucky enough to find out multiple things about myself professionally. Firstly, no matter what setbacks I have, to never give up on my goals. All three business owners had to overcome a multitude of setbacks in their lives to finally get to where they are now, with both Mark Constantine and Dave Anderson having businesses that outright failed beforehand. When I begin my professional career, no matter what happens and however many times I fail, to keep, I need to keep rolling with the punches and eventually I will succeed. Secondly, I learned that the entrepreneur spirit may be something I have in myself. My whole life, starting a business has never been something I could see myself doing, as sales has always been my goal professionally. Yet I constantly heard things in these three entrepreneurs that I believe I have in myself, as well as traits I want to work to have someday. Starting a business just may be something of interest to me in the future. Finally, I learned that I have been extremely blessed to be given a fantastic education and lifestyle that already gives me advantage in my professional career. In order to truly capitalize off these blessings, I need to be willing to put in the work and effort that these business owners have in order to be as successful as possible. These business owners all were extremely interesting, and the project as a whole has been one I'm extremely glad to be doing. Thank you.